Today I just wanted to show this very simple JAMA test rig uh, that I set up. Um, anyone who's getting into this hobby, if you're going to be repairing boards or, you know, getting, even if you're just buying boards in the mail and you want a quick way to test them without pulling cabinets apart and stuff, you should set one of these up. Uh, it's very simple thanks to this board right here, which is readily available. I think these are about 20 to $30. Um, this is the, I believe this is, yeah, GBS 8200 board. Um, these are from China. Basically what they do is they take your RGB input from your JAMA and they output VGA. They, they can also in, um, take other inputs like a VGA or a component. Uh, but generally for arcade games, you're going to be using the RGB. And, you know, this is just the $15, $20 Chinese JAMA harness. And then another about $20 uh, power supply here. Nothing fancy. Um, so basically you just wire it all up. I don't have controllers set up for this yet. I, I do have to build, um, you know, like a joystick or something for testing controls. But you can see that's a tiny speaker there. This is, you know purely for testing so we just want to hear that sound is coming out nothing fancy here at all and and I'm planning to make uh, future videos where I make some improvements to this some safety improvements and some usability improvements and we make it to the point where this is actually a reasonable way to play games uh, we'll see about that in the future uh, but for now I'm just going to uh, plug a game in uh, to the JAMA and this is a VGA to HDMI cable. I actually have not tested this um, with this cable yet so I'm not sure what the output's going to be like. I did test, I have used this of course uh, but I used it with a normal VGA cable to one of my uh, monitors over here. So if I need to fall back to that I can. Uh, but first, let me get a game hooked up here, and then we'll see how it looks on the TV. Okay, so this is my CPS2 Marvel Super Heroes. And you can see I have my JAMA attached there. You have to be careful when you're using these Chinese uh, JAMA harnesses, because they're not keyed. So you can put them on backwards, but you, there's no way you're going to see it in the video. But I have labeled uh, a P and an S for part side and solder side on there so I know which side needs to be up. So that's all set up and once, you, once you're all set up like this I mean it's more or less like a game console. This needs to be plugged in. You do attach this as if it's your cartridge and you're good to go. So let me um, plug this HDMI cable in. I'll fire this up and then uh, we'll see how this looks on the HDTV. CPS2 boards are loud when they're not inside a cabinet um, but you can probably hear the game running. Uh, using the VGA to HDMI cable was a complete failure. I'll have to look into why that didn't work. I guess it didn't like the signal coming out of this board or something. Uh, but I got I got nothing at all. My uh, HDMI switcher back here didn't even recognize that it was plugged in. But anyway, you do you hear the game running, and here it is on my monitor. And it actually looks you know pretty decent. Uh, certainly playable. I don't. I think the colors are pretty good. You can adjust them on this uh, board if if you're not happy with them or if they don't show right or whatever. The board's very um, flexible uh, with that stuff. So yeah, this gives you an easy way uh, to run your Jamba boards on a TV, especially if you, if you have VGA input directly. I'm sure there's a way to get this working uh, with HDMI. We'll figure that out. I do have an open source scan converter coming, so I'll be making some videos about that, and I have a feeling uh, that that will work just fine for getting this to display on a TV. So, in theory, if I build an arcade stick for this, you know, I could be sitting here playing arcade boards uh, right on my TV here, so. Uh, just a quick little video, I just wanted to show you guys this. And like I said, this is just, uh, let's call this a Mark I test bench, because I purposely left some extra space on the board here because um, we're going to make some additions to this that are going to make it more usable 
uh, going to improve the sound. And uh, yeah, so look forward to that in the future. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching. And um, you know, leave a comment if you have any thoughts. And I will see you next time. Okay, guys, uh, just a quick addendum here. I was actually wrong. I did get this uh, to display on my TV. Uh, I would say it does not look terrific. Uh, it looks pretty bad, actually. It, it looks. I'm looking like through the camera here, and in the camera, it looks okay, but in reality, it looks horrible. You see, uh, stuff is cut off here, and there's a lot of settings on this board. Like I said. Um, you know, there's all kinds of stuff you can adjust here. Um, so, I might be able to make this look better. But I think this is struggling uh, because in some of these resolutions that it can output, uh, it'll only hold it for a few seconds, and then as soon as it switches from the demo to these score screens, uh, it'll, it'll shift the picture over so half of it's hanging off. So... I don't think this is a great solution. Like I said, I will be trying the open source scan converter, so we'll see if that helps. Uh, but anyway, uh, what I was missing before, and it makes me feel pretty dumb, I did not realize uh, that this cable is an active cable. It needs power. So I had to... Uh, where is it even? Yeah. So I had a plug it in uh, through USB um, to get power to it and then it fired up so you know I, I wouldn't want to play it looking like this but again it is an option for testing boards you can certainly see if the board works or not although uh, with this the way that the display is shifted it might make it difficult to tell uh, that it's displaying correctly so I probably would for now I would stick to the normal computer monitor which seems to handle this better but uh yeah there you go all right so thanks again for watching and you know leave a comment if you have anything to say and see you next time